when the Lord calls us a thief. Right. It ain't right. talking about when the day, when when, when right. chariots come in the sky and missiles are going off and Leviathan is walking around. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. The day of the Lord is is it, it can be different for every person. Your day could be the day of the Lord. Yep. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, 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 exactly. It can be the day of the Lord for you. Right. Well, the scripture tells you that. It says, for today, the, the most high requires your spirit. Oh, today, you, you fool. Today, oh, wow. the most yeah, high today, requires your spirit. Yeah. Wow, that's fire, right? So that's the day of the yeah, Lord God. for you. <laughs> well, what do you desire the day of the Lord for what end is it for you? You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Because you don't know what the day of the Lord is going to so, identify in you. Yeah, what it's going to be for you. Yeah, God, huh? You know, what? what is that going to entail for, for a spirit <laughs> for like yours? For you. Right, right. For you. <laughs> the day of the Lord is not the same for everybody, huh? Right, right. That, that's another doctrine that's fucking uh, off, huh? Yeah, that, that is true, huh? <laughs> like the, the day of the Lord is just one big one day, day of destruction. Yeah. No, that's not it, huh? Shalom. Double to the elder apostles of the great millstone who rule well, and always peace and salutations to the hopefully elect tabernacle of David. The scriptures say, The words of a wise man's mouth is gracious, but the lips of a fool will swallow himself. You know, the more and more I listen to these dudes, you know, they appear to me like another parody group. And like we were just getting on that one body in Yahweh Shai group. You could tell them dudes are real goofy. You know, they're, they're not, you know, they just look like you don't take them serious. The more I listen to these dudes, it's like, should we even be taking these dudes serious, man? Because this is how embarrassing they sound. All right. And what's coming out their mouth don't make any freaking sense. So now all of a sudden, the day of the Lord is basically unique to the individual. <laughs> so everybody has a custom-made day of the Lord. So I guess all, all the prophets, when they had the vision, you know, the Lord, you know, had them dream the dream of the actual final judgment, the day of the Lord. You know, they all saw a different day. You know, this is all, you know, these were all different events. So when, when Jeremiah, you know, prophesied the day of the Lord, he was prophesying of a Thursday. Isaiah, he's, when, he, when he saw the day of the Lord, that was a, a Saturday. And, uh, you know, uh, Malachi, you know, he prophesied of the day, but that day was referred to, I guess, a Sunday or something. So they all saw different days. They didn't see the day of the Lord. Now, last I checked, it never said days of the Lord. It says day of the Lord. And all you're doing is you're, you're, you're just continuing to, you know, annoy the Heavenly Father, man. You're, you're, a, you're, you're a, a, a continual smoke that's burning in his nose. And, uh, you know, real soon, you know, he's going he's gonna to deal with you, man. Until he can't take it no more, he, he, he's going to... He's going to smite you. Or, as you know, you're going into it about the day of the Lord, the Lord's just going to reserve you. All right. And, and, and I went into that, you know, weeks ago, dealing with all these goofies, all these weirdos that are all coming out of the woodworks and, and just bringing out all type of heresies, all type of bugged out doctrines. Just saying anything, uttering and saying anything without any fear. None of you dudes fear the most high, and it's evident. So, you know, I just wanted to, uh, you know, do a response to this. All right, I saw uh, Elder Apostle Tahar that uh, did a, a lesson in responding to it. So I just want to add to it as well. And I just went and did a, a, a simple Google search. All right, because these guys, they're making it seem as if, you know, the, the day of the Lord is going to be a prolonged thing. When the Lord clearly said that, Immediately after the tribulation of those days, shall you see the sign of the, the coming of the Son of Man? It's gonna it's gonna be a, a one day event where the Lord's gonna come back and He's gonna, you know, judge. He's gonna appear. The whole world is gonna be on pause. It's, it's, it's gonna stop. Every eye is gonna, you know, see see Him. Like it says in Revelation one and seven, every eye shall see Him, and shall well because of Him. 
even they which pierced them. Everybody is being reserved until that day. All right. If you're alive, you're being reserved to that day. If you don't get destroyed, you know, in, 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 in the wars, if you don't die of famine of the plagues or whatever, you're going to be reserved. And guess what? Even if you do die, you're going to be resurrected. The Lord's going to open up the earth and, you know, you're going to have those that come out of out of it. That's going to be beamed up into the air. And you're going to have those that's going to be uh, brought out of the grave so you can eat, eat the missiles. And that might be y'all if the most High kill y'all and then on the day of the Lord raise you back up so you can get that judgment. Because you niggas are wicked, man. So anyway. It says right here, you just type in day of judgment. It says in the Christian religion, which really in the Bible, the day of judgment is the day in the future when all people are living or dead will be judged by God. In which we know that ultimately the Lord have committed the judgment unto his son. So ultimately it's going to be Yahweh Shai is going to show up in his father's stead and he's going to actually uh, judge. Yeah, John 5 and 22, it says, For the Father judgeth no man, but have committed all judgment unto the Son, that all men should honor the Son even as they honor the Father. He that honoreth not the Son, honoreth not the Father which have sent him. And including all the naysayers, those that deny Yahweh Old Testament only Israelites, you know, niggas that say that Yahweh is an idol and is not to be worshipped. All right, well, because you choose to dishonor the son, you're going to have to meet him <laughs> on the day of judgment. Well, every word, every idle word that you spoke, you're going to have to give an account. All right. So let's uh, go from there. Let's go to 2 Corinthians 5 and 10. It is, uh, you have 2 Corinthians 5 and 10. It says, for we must all appear before the judgment seat of the anointed. Showing you that he's going to be the one sitting in the judgment seat. The heavenly father is going to be sitting in the heavens, man. All right, and he's going to watch his son, you know, do his bidding. It says that every one may receive the things done in his body according to that he have done, whether it be good or bad. Now, we know in this day, that it says in Revelation that the books would be open. And he's going to judge out of those books. Okay. Matter of fact. Let's go there real quick. Unless y'all saying that this is going to happen on multiple dates. The Lord's going to come back multiple times and just, you know, have the books out. And he's just going to be, you know, judging people different ways. It's all one final judgment, you you demons. Go to Revelation 20. Yeah, Revelation 20 and uh, 6. You know, that's also talking about the day of the Lord because... Once uh, the righteous and holy are resurrected, those that died in the Lord, you know, they're going to uh, become kings and, and priests. All right. They're going to receive that 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 authority. Because Yahweh Shah is going to come back and he's going to get his honor first. As it says in uh, 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter, he's going to subdue these nations and put them under his feet. And then it's going to be an order. It's going to be the first fruits. Than those that are uh, Yahweh Shai's at, at his coming. So, Revelation 26 Blessed and holy is he that have part in the first resurrection. All right, it's going to be also the first dominion. All right, this is going to be the governing body right here, man. All right, it says, On such the second death have no power. And this is talking about the day of the Lord. You're, you're going to be resurrected. To salvation, or you're going to be resurrected unto condemnation. And on such the second death 
have no power, man. Because that's that's the day of uh, perdition, in which Esau, the son of perdition, he's going to go, he's doomed to the destruction. He's doomed to the second death. And he's not going to live no more after that, meaning he's not going to have any reign in the earth. All right, his heaven is going to be over with. He's going to basically be in hell. He's going to be in straits. He's going to be in sorrows. It says, but they shall be priests of the Most High and of the anointed and shall reign with him a thousand years. So let's go down. And this is the judgment at the throne of God. <clears throat> yeah, uh, Revelation 20 and 11, it says, and I saw a great white throne and him that sat on it from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away and there was found no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before the power. And the books were opened, and another book was opened, which was the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. All right, and, and you know, the elect, you know, and, and their works are written, and the Lord remembers them. So whether you die in the Lord or whether you are, remain, you are alive and remaining, the Lord's going to reward you. You're going to get, receive that crown. You're going to, you know, get the palm in your hand. All right. And you're going to live eternally. Verse 13. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it. And death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. And they were judged every man according to their works. All right. The wicked. All right. You have the, the works of the righteous. And you also have the works of the wicked. Real quick, and showing you how all these prophecies line up, and this is all talking about one event. The Lord is not the author of confusion, as you niggas are confusing His uh, His word, His will. Second Ezra's uh, fourteen. All right, Second Ezra's fourteen. And verse 35, it says, For after death shall the judgment come when we shall live again, and then shall the names of the righteous be manifest, and the works of the ungodly shall be declared. All right, and the Lord is reserving every everybody, man, to that day. The ungodly is being reserved to be punished. And we're going we're gonna to get that scripture. I, I believe that's in uh, Second Peter. So let's go back, and it says, And death and hell... All right, those that were in the in, in the grave were cast into the lake of fire. So you're going to be raised up only to eat them missiles, right, which we know that a, a Babylon being on fire after it's destroyed by all those nukes is going to be like a lake that burns with fire. Okay, and you're going to be left down there to burn for a, a, a period, but it's not going to be forever and ever and ever and ever like the Christian and Catholic Church teach. But you're going to feel that fire and then you're going to come back, you know, after the Lord, you know, takes your spirit and you're going to be born in the kingdom in everlasting shame. All right. This is the second death. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. All right. So that's that's the final day. He's gonna he's gonna sever the wheat from from the tares, the the sheep from the goats. All you wicked Israelites, you know you you you're gonna <laughs> you're gonna be judged out of this book, the book in 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 the thirteenth verse. All right. So when you uh, further read this, it says it is often known as the last judgment, right? The final judgment, judgment day, doomsday. That's another another uh, term for it. All these terms are synonymous. All right. Or sometimes is it is called the day of the Lord. All right. This is a one time event. The Lord's not going to have multiple judgment days or multiple days of the Lord. Man, you niggas out your mind. So real quick. Because you know, hey, doomsday, 
you know, they have what you call a doomsday clock. And every time, you know, the 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 peace, which really there is no peace, but when they declare, you know, um, that there's turmoil and that, you know, things are getting, you know, very heated between these uh, superpower nations that have these nuclear, nuclear capabilities, they always move the hand of the doomsday clock towards midnight. Midnight is basically the the, the final moment when it, it it can you know go down, or when it'll happen. But that's going to be as a the, the Lord said it's going to be as a thief in the night. Just like the day of of Noah, and just like in the days of um Lot, they was all carrying on in their daily activities. You know, it was it was it was you know the days of. You know, doing what the hell they want to do it was it was all normalcy, but then out of nowhere, on a sudden, it just happened. All right, it it just all happened, man. All right, the, the, when 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 Noah finally went into the ark with his family and those uh, animals, the Lord shut the the door, and that was it. The Lord reigned on the earth, and 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 that was that. If you wasn't in that ark. You was done. And then similarly, dealing with the time of um when uh the Lord rained fire and brimstone upon Sodom and Gomorrah in their neighboring cities. You know, once Lot got out got out of there, him and his and his uh two daughters, and, and you know, his wife came when well, we know what happened to his wife because she her dumb ass looked back. You know, because she really didn't want that place to be destroyed. She probably she more than likely enjoyed herself in that society. She got turned into a pillar of salt, but them people they they had no idea what was getting ready to happen. But once the Lord got light up out of there, he rained fire and brimstone upon them. They didn't see that coming. So anyway, dealing with a uh, doomsday, right? Um real quick, it says, uh, let me let me go to Second Ezra's I believe it's uh second Ezra seven. Yep, second Ezra seven verse forty three, and it says, But the day of doom shall be the end of this time and the beginning of the immortality for to come wherein corruption is past. And temperance is at an end, infidelity is cut off, righteousness is grown, and the truth is sprung up. All right, and the day of doom is talking about when the Lord returns. And that's when the um the 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 uh the, the, the mortal shall put on immortality. All right, the uh the corruptible shall put on incorruption. And uh we're gonna get the victory over death, and that's for the righteous, those whose who are whose names are written in the book of life. Not for the wicked. All right. And also we're going to be righteous. The Lord going to put the. um, <clears throat> He's going to put the law, statutes and commandments in our in our inward parts. And we're going to become perfect on that day as well. All these things are going to happen in that final day. A lot is going to happen in that day, man. You see. It says, then shall no man be able to save him that is destroyed, you know, because you're going to be uh, melted. The Lord's going to automatically cremate you. Ain't, ain't no way to save that. And it says, nor to oppress him that have gotten the victory. Okay, this is all on the day of the Lord, man, the day of doom, doomsday. So let's uh, leave out from that. And then uh, let's go real quick to... um. Actually, uh, let me go to Second Peter. Second Peter two, and I mentioned these two examples: the day of Noah and the day of uh, Lot, right? And it says, uh, "I'll go straight to the point. I'll go straight to the point." 
Second Peter 2 and 9, it says, The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptations and to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. All right? And that's that final day. Like you two clowns, you're going to be uh, reserved. And you're going to die the death of a, of a false prophet. And it even tells you that in a Revelation that when the beast gets destroyed, the false prophet is also going to be in, in those flames. And that's, you know, really that's dealing with the Catholic Church, you know, which all them denominations of Christianity. But at the same time, you know, all you false prophets, you're going to die in that too. You're going to die right along with the the the, the Christian, the, 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 the fake, you know, fake phony pastors in, in the Christian and Catholic Church. For being a damn liar and a deceiver. You know, all you do is that's teaching against the, uh, the MOTB. You, you're going to die that death too. So it says, uh, matter of fact, let me real quick go to the cross reference. I'm going to just go right here. And he's and these are the precepts that that pops up. Second Peter three and seven it says, "But the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition, destruction of ungodly men." And we know Esau; he's definitely reserved pursuant to um Proverbs sixteen and four, uh, Job twenty one and uh thirty. All right. As a matter of fact, when you let's go over here to the to Second Peter three, and when you keep uh, reading down, uh, verse eight it says, "But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and as a, a thousand years is as one day. The Lord is not slack concerning His promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance." But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. All right, talking about this particular day. All right, the day of, 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 of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens sh shall pass away with a great noise, and elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. And real quick, let's go to... um. Let's go to Malachi. In Malachi 4 and 1, it says, For behold, the day cometh. Now, I didn't say the days cometh. It's saying the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, all that do wickedly, the ungodly. All right, and that's why they're being reserved. Esau the wicked and two thirds of our own people, right, shall be stubble. And the day cometh that shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. All right. And this was the, like I said, the final admonition. All right. The Lord was going to send Elijah the prophet back right before that. Which is why we believe that um, uh, Rabbi uh, Bivens, Abba, was, was that man. All right. He said, Malachi 4 and 5, Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. All right? And he shall turn the heart of the, of the fathers to the children and the heart of the children to their fathers, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. So that the, the final warning was, hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to restore y'all. I'm going to send Elijah the prophet. All right, you're going to remember yourselves. Come back to the truth. The Lord put the breath back into you. And now we're calling, you know, all the, um, well, we're calling Israel to repentance, but we know that only a remnant in election is, is going to uh, truly repent and, and return. And then the rest of our people, they're, they're going to be, they're going to be toast. You see? So this is talking about the same day, man. And all the prophets, they all were prophesying about the same day. All right.
So it says, but the day of the Lord shall come as a thief in the night, in the which the heaven shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up, seeing that all these things shall be dissolved. What manner of persons are you to be in all holy conversation and godliness? All right, you want to be on point with the Heavenly Father, man. You want to be, you want to do all, all right, like it tells you in, um, was it Ephesians or it might be Luke? I think the one I'm thinking about is in uh, Luke. You want to do, you want to do all to be counted worthy to stand before the Son of Man, because you don't want to, you know, be on the Lord's, you know, bad side of the judgment. All right, Luke 21. Yeah, Luke 21 and 34 says, and take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness. You know, you just in gross darkness ain't ain't you know you're not watching you're not circumspect you're just off in that world just doing just doing the most you definitely ain't gonna see the day of the lord coming and cares of this life you're so caught up into this this world so that day come upon you unawares or as a snare shall come on them that dwell on the face of the whole earth watch you therefore and pray always that you may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the son of man because he's going to be sitting on the judgment seat. All right. So, I mean, there's more scriptures I can go into, but I think the point was already made. All right. And these these two magpies right here, the most High is going to destroy them. All right. Because I don't, I don't know if I don't I don't see them repent. They, I think they're going to see these videos of us getting on them and they probably going to start making videos and trying to get back at us. We already. I mean, we've seen this over and over, man. We've been in this thing long enough to at least know how he, how how predictable these these type of dudes are, these type of individuals. All right, so we already know how this is gonna go. All right, all you dudes are being lined up for judgment. That's all that's happening. All right, all you dudes creeping in unawares, all you bug outs and weirdos popping up. The Lord brought you in for a reason. And now you're being highlighted and now you're being marked. So anyway, I'm going to close out and give all praise to y'all. Bashmi, I was shy. Until the next lesson, Shalom.